Okay, first thing you want to do before you start cutting on your PTO shaft is hook your implement up, get it where you want it. Then you can go in here and measure that shaft right there where that spline sticking out of the PTO and measure from that groove to the groove in that spline coming out of the rotary tiller. Mine was 21 and a half inches. Okay, I got 28 inches from this end all the way over to this end. So now I got to figure out how much I need to cut off of the middle here. Okay, with all my measurements, I'm going to cut six inches off of each one of these. Okay, I took a sawzall and I cut six inches off of this, and I cut six inches off of this. Same here, six off this, six off this. Okay, there we have it. It's shorter. Now I'm going to measure it just to uh, see how short it is. Okay. I'm going to try and cut some more of this, these sleeves down and see how that works out. Take about an inch off of each one of these. Okay, I've cut a total of seven inches off this drive shaft. And like I said before, I'd rather have it too long than too short. If it's too short, then it's destroyed. I have to go spend some more money, so it's better to take little pieces off of it at a time. Now I'll go see if it fits on the tractor. Okay, what I ended up doing was cutting seven and a half inches off each one of those drive shafts. I took a section off here, and I took another section off, and then I took another little section off. Same way here. Took that section off, took a smaller section off, and I took this section off, and then I used a grinder to grind it down, fine tune it. And let me take you out and show you what it looks like. Here it is, all connected. It's not too short not too long. I hope this helps. Comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.